All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're going to talk about big time shots fired at Javon at Floyd Mayweather Jr. over Gervonta Tank Davis fighting Ryan Garcia, and they are out put out there by Bernard Hopkins, who says some things that I got to tell you, man. Bernard, I don't understand you, man. I don't understand you. <laughs> you know what I mean? But let's talk about that in this video. All right. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the, I suppose, 135 pound division where Gervonta Tank Davis is supposed to be fighting uh, Ryan Garcia in April uh, for Gervonta Davis's WBA regular title. And Bernard Hall of Fame fighter Bernard Hopkins had some things to say about Gervonta Davis uh, with some, I would call them backhanded compliments with uh, on uh, Gervonta Davis and really does lay in to Floyd Mayweather Jr. And I think it is a way that is is very, very unfair. And I'll explain it. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Also, thank you to all of the supporters in the channel. Thank you guys for continuing to check in on the video while we wait for these fights to happen. Uh, talking about things like this, which are more political uh, in the sport of boxing. But in this particular instance, I don't really call this political. You know, I just think this is just a, a real um, man. It's just a real it's just a bad thing to say because the facts don't fit with what Bernard Hopkins is saying. But let me go into it first. Um, Bernard Hopkins is works with Oscar De La Hoya and is the is a co-owner, I suppose, for of Golden Boy Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions is the promoter of Ryan Garcia and Golden Boy, along with Al Heyman and the PBC and Showtime, have negotiated a deal for Gervonta Davis to fight Ryan Garcia. Now, um, Bernard Hopkins talking about the fight says that talks about Gervonta Davis and says uh, that Gervonta Davis was smart to leave uh uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr., that he's showing that he's his own boss and he can handle things himself and he can do his do things himself. And, you know, that is a really smart com co uh, com uh, career move for, for him. Right there, I don't think that there's any problem with that because I think that that is evident, right? Uh, Gervonta Davis is a big name in the sport of boxing. He can do his own. He He's very, very well known. He can stand on his own two feet, even though, you know, all of these fighters that got promoters out here, you know, like Lomachenko, his entire career with with a promoter. You have um, uh, uh, shoot everybody at everybody at Golden Boy. Everybody, every fighter with Golden Boy has a promoter. But for some reason, Jermonte Davis needs to kick his promoter to the career to the curb in order to stand on his own two feet. But regardless, Jermonte Davis does. Be, uh, uh, leaves Mayweather Promotions when his contract is up and negotiates a deal with um, as long as they actually agree on it with Ryan Garcia. So that's all fair and good. This is the problem with what, I, in my opinion, with what Bernard Hopkins then continued to do. He started talking and bad mouth and Floyd Mayweather Jr. and saying basically treating Floyd May Mayweather and Mayweather promotions as if they had been taking advantage of the kid and suckered the kid, you know, from early on in his career. Right. Which is not which is nothing that Gervonta Davis has ever claimed and is nothing that you could see in evidence in the relationship that Gervonta Davis has with with Floyd Mayweather now. And so how did he do that? He did that by saying, using this type of um, language, like, yeah, Gervonta Davis, you know, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Like he gave him some chains, right? Gave him some chains, took him on a plane and said, yeah, you know, look at what we got. And, 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 and then 
uh, look what I've done for you. I've bought you gold chains and I put you on a plane. Uh, I've shown you my jet. Right. And now Gervonta is telling him, yeah, thanks for giving me the gold chains and thank you for showing me the jet. But now I'm standing on my own two feet and I'm going to go ahead and do something else. Man, that is ridiculously unfair. Ridiculously unfair to Floyd Mayweather Jr. and and the PBC, because that's not the truth. The fact of the matter is that Gervonta Davis, nobody else signed Gervonta Davis coming out of the amateurs. And like everybody else and in, into the pro and for several years in the pros uh, or at least 10 fights in the pros did not have a promoter, was fighting in ballrooms. And then Floyd Mayweather Jr. literally got him, put him and got him in position to fight for a championship relatively quickly against Jose Pedraza. He put him on. He put him as a co-main event on his card with Conor McGregor and actively pushed and promoted Jermonte Davis to the point where, you know, if you listen to all of these stories that about what people tell about, you know, Floyd Mayweather Jr. having Devin Haney and Tank Spar. But what a lot of people miss in that in that conversation is that that Jermonte Davis was a sparring partner for Devin. Right. It, as far as 10 fight as long as up to 10 fight first 10 fights of his career, he was a sparring partner for Devin Haney and Devin Haney wasn't even a champion or anywhere near a champion. But that shows you where Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Mayweather promotions and their promotions took Gervonta Davis. Now, that's a different thing altogether than saying, you know, all he did was just like see this kid, sucker this kid, give him a couple gold, give him a couple of tech, you know, gaudy gold chains, fly him around a plane. And then the next implication is that he ripped him off. Gervonta Davis has never uh, complained about being ripped off or not making, not getting paid well or any of that. He said that he wanted to be his own man because he wanted to make fights that Mayweather and those guys may not have wanted to make. And also he was. So ready to do his own promotion. Also, when you look at Floyd Mayweather Jr. and and Gervonta Davis's uh, the way that they parted with one another, Gervonta Davis didn't have to buy, didn't have to go to court to get away from from Floyd Mayweather Jr. like Oscar De La Hoya had to do with Bob Arum. He didn't have to pay seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get away from Bob Arum, like to to get away from Floyd Mayweather Jr. Like Floyd Mayweather Jr. had to do with with um Bob Arum. He didn't have he didn't have uh Floyd Mayweather Jr. threatening anybody that wanted to do business with him, saying that he's under contract with me, even though he wasn't under contract with him. Like Bob Arum was accused of doing by. Manny Pacquiao by Manny Pacquiao's managers. Like the idea that just because Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Gervonta Davis broke apart, that the reason is that Floyd Mayweather Jr. was manipulating and taking advantage of Gervonta Davis is just real, real loose and, and incredibly unfair because none of the facts and none of the things that Gervonta, that Gervonta Davis has ever said add up to that. And on top of that, Gervonta Davis has the exact same team that he had before because he's still before with the exception of Mayweather promotions, because he's still managed by he's still managed and advised by Al Heyman. And on top of that, he's still fighting on the same network showtime. His fights are still being organized by the same secondary promoter, uh, Tom Brown. So if he's so taken advantage of and was so suckered, why is he keeping the same team around him? And not to talk about the fact as a black fighter, what has Golden Boy done for anybody like Oscar, like, like, like um, Gervonta Davis? What fighter is Golden Boy? What fighter is Golden Boy, American fighter other than Canelo, who wind up, by the way, leaving Golden Boy because he said Golden Boy was playing with his money? So the one fighter that Golden Boy really did build, uh, Canelo left him saying, hey, man, you're playing with my you're playing with my money. So they actually left. Canelo actually left Golden Boy for what Bernard Hopkins is implying Floyd did to, did to to Gervonta. Do Bernard Hopkins is just wrong from what I can see. Bernard Hopkins is just dead wrong on that, man. And this is like the same thing he did with Don King. And like talking about how glad he was, you know, when he was still fighting, that he was going to beat the last Don King fighter. But 
What fighters have you brought up? You know what I mean? What American fighters has Oscar De La Hoya found and developed and given shots? Shoot, Speedy Rashidi Ellis beats out Alexis Rosa, Rocha, and for all uh, from all evidence that we can see, gets sidelined by Golden Boy. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. But anyway, man, it is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.